Welcome to the Ohio Hauling Permit System, also known as OHPS, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through the steps for generating a route using the routing map within the permit application at haulingpermits.transportation.ohio.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the OHPS user tutorial videos link. Some Ohio permits require a route to travel. There are five options to choose from for your origin and destination. You can start and end your route using an address, intersection, border crossing, latitude longitude, and turnpike gate, or a combination of these listed. To route using an address, select Address from the Origin drop-down list. Then type the address in the address field and the city in the city field. You may optionally enter the zip code in the zip field. For the destination, we will use an intersection. Select Intersection from the Destination drop-down list. Click the Find Intersection button and the map will be displayed. The type of highway must be entered, and then the number of the highway. Type the name of the first street in the Street 1 field. I will type SR for State Route, dash 196. Type the name of the second street in the Street 2 field. I will type US-33. You may also enter a city in the City field, but this is not required. I will type New Hampshire. Click the Go button. Numbered blue bubbles will display the intersection matching the request. If there is more than one numbered bubble, choose the bubble that most closely represents the destination. The Enter Trip panel will be displayed with the intersection chosen entered into the Destination section. Click the Validate and Run button to generate the safest and quickest route. At this point, you will see that your origin location needs attention. The address was found, but it is not on a state-maintained road. You can either enter another address, select an on-system intersection nearest the address, or select an on-system road from the map. To select an on-system road, click the Select On-System Road button. The map will display with a blue bubble representing the address. Zoom into the bubble as close as possible to see any on-system roads. On-system roads are clearly marked with the green highlight. You will need to choose a point on the green highlighted roads. Select the Select Radio button above the map. Click a point on a green highlighted road closest to the requested address where you will begin your state-maintained travel. This will bring you back to the Enter Trip box and add a latitude and longitude coordinates above your previously entered address. Click the Validate and Run button to generate a route. There will be a blue highlighted line starting at the origin and travel to the destination. Please note on all routes, zoom in as close as possible and review the entire route before proceeding. There are also turn-by-turn -turn directions listed below the map for review. Another option for routing a border crossing. Use this option if you're traveling into or out of the state. Return to the Enter Trip panel. For the origin dropdown, select Border Crossing from the list. This will populate a list of all the available borders in the state of Ohio. Border crossings are listed alphabetically, starting with the highway name first. Select the border from the list. For this example, I'm going to select I-275 on Kentucky Line from the drop-down list. To use latitude and longitude coordinates on routing, select Lat Lawn on the map. Type a latitude in the Lat text box and the longitude in the Lawn text box, if the coordinates are known. If not, click the Find button and the map will be displayed. Enter a city into the City field and click the Go button. The map will zoom into the city entered. Zoom as close as possible into the origin or destination. Click the Select Radio button above the map and then click a point. The latitude and longitude coordinates will be entered into the corresponding fields in the Enter Trip panel. Click the Validate and Run button for the system to generate the quickest, safest route of travel. The system shows that origin location is valid, but the destination location needs attention. Origin, destination, and routes of travel must be on state-maintained roads. Click the Select a Road on the map link to select a state-maintained road. Click a point on the nearest state-maintained road. The Enter Trip panel will be displayed with the new latitude and longitude coordinates. 
Click the Validate and Run button to generate the quickest, safest route of travel. Be sure to review the route using a blue highlighted line and turn-by-turn -turn travel directions underneath the map. Another routing option is Turnpike Gates. Select Turnpike Gates from the Origin or Destination dropdowns. Then choose a Turnpike Gate from the second dropdown list. Click the Validate and Run button for the system to generate the safest, quickest route of travel. Again, be sure to review the route using blue highlighted line and turn-by-turn -turn directions under the map. If the route does not travel the way you would like and have a different route in mind, VIA points can be entered to produce the requested route. There's a separate video on the login page for modifying routes using VIA points. And this concludes the OHPS user tutorial videos on generating a route using a routing map within the permit application. Thanks for watching, and don't forget there are more videos available for your convenience.